we're going to shoot a virtual sea trial video on this beautiful Glastron GXL 255 bow rider. Uh, this is a 2007 boat. It's a 25 foot bow rider. It is fitted with a Volvo Penta 8.1 GI 370 horsepower big block V8 and she is matched up to a dual prop stern drive. This boat has only, I think it's like 165 hours on the clock. I will confirm the exact hours and put it in the description of this video. But yeah, very low hours. Um, and it's a stock boat of ours. So we are selling this with a warranty, three month warranty to start at the beginning of next season, the 2023 season. We've given it a full mechanical inspection and service. And uh, yeah, it's ready to go. It's here on the water uh, in, on Loch Erin, County Fermanagh. And um, it hasn't been cosmetically prepped yet, so it does still need a compound and polish and a full detailed valet. But it's not bad now. It has been well cared for and well looked after. It's a one owner boat from new and a uh, fabulous boat. The big block V8 engine is running an absolute dream. So we're gonna fire it up now. We're gonna take it out in the lake and we're gonna show you how this thing performs underway. Let me just give you a quick look at the motor before, now apologies for the mess, please ignore the mess, it is a bit grubby, um, but that's just because it has been in the workshop yet, but electric hatch lifter, we're gonna lift this up, I'll just show you the engine bay briefly, and we'll fire it up. There's a lovely note off these big block V8s. Fuel, fully fuel injected, turnkey start, automatic idle speed control, um, and a lovely running engine. So there she is, red engine block, um, single battery, good room around the engine bay. Starting is just a matter of having the run switch, the kill cord attached, throttle lever in neutral, have her trimmed down, which she is, and turn the key. We're out on the lake now, and uh, we found a wee bit of sheltered water to put the boat through our paces. But before we do that, I just want to briefly walk you through the dashboard. Um, so we've got a full range of Faria instruments, all the original instrumentation. Um, fuel gauge here, speedo here, everything is working. Uh, rev counter here, we have a trim gauge. Now this is intermittent, to be fair, I'd see the way it's wandering around here. So there is a new trim sender on order, so we'll, we'll be replacing the sender, but the gauge is working. Um, we've got our oil pressure gauge here, sitting in the middle of the gauge, which is where you want it. We've got a digital depth sounder there, and also gives you the temperature of the water. Uh, we have temperature gauge and voltmeter, showing 13, 13.7 or 13.8 volts, which she's charging okay. Tilt pos position adjust on the steering wheel, nice bucket style helm seat with a flip up bolster. So this is me sitting with the bolster down, I'm looking straight through the windscreen. And if I flip the bolster up, you're sitting, this is my eye line, so you're looking over the top of the screen. You can also, you also have room to stand then at the helm too. Um, and we've got all our switch gear, engine blower motor, navigation lights, anchor light, bilge pump. This is for the depth sounder and there's also a courtesy light on that as well. Stereo turns on here and the horn. A 12 volt power socket. We've got, uh, what do we have down here? This is uh, dock lights, switches for the dock lights. This is a power hatch lift. So there's an electric engine hatch lift on her. And then throttle shift lever is here, falls easily to hand. Nicely balanced. It's nice and smooth shifting as well. So that's forward and reverse. And obviously with that uh, dual prop drive, it's nice and smooth as well. So we're gonna put the boat on plane now it's on playing in a heartbeat this thing um it's also quite windy today so it is we were out on the broad lock out there we're down in Fermanagh here and it's rough out there but because it's such a big boat it cuts through it lovely um but we've come in uh to a wee bit of shelter here to put her through paces hopefully she'll be able to hear me better so let's put her on plane first of all get up on plane bring it up to cruising speed and then we'll do a full speed run as well
would expect with such a big motor. It's on the plane in an instant. I mean, this thing, you don't even, even have to give it anything approaching full throttle. It'll, it'll plane with like a third throttle, but I just give it the, give it a handful of throttle there now to get her up quickly. Super light steering. Throttle also stays where you set it, which is nice. And again, because this is such a big motor, you really don't need much throttle at all to keep her on plane. I actually find that the most sort of comfortable cruising speed is just about 25 miles an hour. And the engine's only turning over 2300 RPM. It's not even breaking a sweat. And it sits lovely. Tracks in a straight line. Runs really nice. And it's going to be economical at this sort of speed as well. I mean, because the engine's working, it's not having to work at all. It's just going to tip along lovely there at that sort of 20, 25, 26 miles an hour. Temperatures, pressures, everything looks perfect. And if you want to open her up, you can. So let's head out of here and get a wee longer run to bring her up to full speed. We'll stretch its legs. Let's give her a full throttle. So, as you would expect, this thing is seriously quick. Full throttle, if you trim it out, um, you can get it up to about 5,000 RPM and it's going off the clock, it's like over 60 miles an hour on the speedo. 
I did double check it with the GPS on my phone as well, and it is, uh, it's like 50 knots. It's, it's, um, it is a genuine 60 mile an hour boat. This it, it actually is going 60 mile an hour, um, which is incredible. So super fast boat because it is such. There's such a lot of horsepower and such a big engine. As I said, you can run it all day long at like. 2000 rpm 2300 rpm it's still doing 25 miles an hour in a plane from about 15 miles an hour um, and then it will sit at any speed in between i mean you're probably not going to want to bomb around the lake everywhere at 60 miles an hour because you will burn a bit of fuel doing that but like even at 3000 rpm it's doing like over 30 miles an hour so that's at economical engine speed as well and it's still going at almost the top speed of like 90 percent of the sports boats on the lake so it is a really lovely running boat, very smooth steering, throttle, it sits nicely in the water. Um, because she is such a big boat, 25 foot long, it cuts through the chop nicely as well. So even if you get caught out in a bad day or the wind gets up, you're still going to get home in comfort. We have the full spray hood covers and stuff for it as well, so you can you know, fully enclose the boat. On a bad day, you can make it nice and warm and cosy inside. Uh, but yeah, that absolutely fabulous running boat. And, uh, it's a stock boat of ours, so it's been through the workshop. We've fully inspected it, fully tested, we've serviced it, and it's been sold with a three month warranty as well. And uh, until it sells, there's every, I'm probably going to use it a bit myself actually because it is such a nice thing to, uh, to run about in. But before we finish, I'll put it back on the plane again now, just sort of slowly to show you that it, you know, it doesn't take much throttle at all to get the boat up and away. So let's do that, do another wee spin round, and we'll head back into the marina. So trim the leg back down again. Just a wee tiniest bit of throttle, she's up and away. That's us doing 2800 RPM, we're at 30 miles an hour. If we bring it up to 3000 RPM, we're doing, there's 3000 RPM, and we're doing 30, what's that, 246. 37 miles an hour, 36 miles an hour. As I said, most sports boats, you know, three liters and stuff are doing like 40 miles an hour flat out. This thing's not even getting going last week. And if you do put the throttle down at this sort of speed, it just takes off like it's possessed. This is some boat running absolutely brilliantly. Great performance, fantastic handling. There's, it's hard to beat a big block V8. If you've never driven one, or if you're running around in like a 4.3 V6 or a 5 liter V8 or something, it's you really do have to try and get behind the wheel of one of these big blocks. That 8.2 liter, there's so much torque, so much low end grunt. They sound lovely, they're nice and smooth on the water, and. They're really, you know, they're not laboring at any sort of speed or rev range. So, lovely thing, lovely thing in the water, running perfectly, full work, fully operating dash. We just have to change that trim sender, which is an order, and that's it. She's good to go with a warranty to start the beginning of the 2023 season. So, if you have uh, any interest in the boat, there's going to be a showroom video coming up in the next couple of weeks, maybe the next week or so. We'll probably publish this sea trail video first, and we'll get it back into the showroom. As I said, I'm going to try and take another couple of weeks to get the week, a couple of weekends skiing with it if I can because it is such a nice thing but uh, 
yeah, so there'll be a showroom video coming soon. But if you want to come ahead and have a look at the boat in between times, you want to organize a sea trial or anything, just give me a shout. Uh, give me a call on the number at the top of our webpage or send me an email to sales at gulfstreamshop.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you find it useful. We're back in now. We've got the boat all buttoned up, covers on. That cover there is like brand new, the tonneau cover. There's also a full set of camper canvas covers. Um, just wanted to confirm that the exact engine hours on the, on the boat now are 170. So she's got exactly 170. Now they are liable to increase because I do plan on using the boat a wee bit just to give it a bit of, put a few hours on it. I always like to do that with our own stock if we can. And that thing's an absolute blast to drive and I fully intend to do a wee bit of skiing with it if at all possible too. So the hours probably will increase a wee bit, but beautiful boat. I also forgot to tell you earlier that it has only ever been fresh water kept. One owner from you, fresh water kept. By the time we're finished detailing it, it'll look like brand new again. And as I said, we're selling it with our in-house warranty. So an absolutely stunning bit of kit. Lovely big bow rider. Perfect if you're looking for a boat to take out big groups of friends and you want something that has effortless performance and goes just as well as it looks. So there you go. That's a Glassman GXL255 and that's how it runs on the water. Thanks for watching.